Hi, I'm Teacher Tina from Options for Learning. Today, I have a story for you. It's called Little Red Riding Hood, adapted by Teresa Mayer and illustrated by Olga Krola. Let's see what happened in the story. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in a small house near the woods. Everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood because she always wear worn a red hooded cap that her grandma had made for her. See that? Red hood. That's beautiful. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother told her that her grandma was not feeling well. She asked Little Red Riding Hood to go to grandma's house to take her a jar of honey and an apple pie that she had made. Before she left, Little Red Riding Hood's mother reminded her not to be careful in the woods. She was not to stop and talk to anyone so she could get to Grandma's house quickly. Mommy, tell her that you need to remember. <gasps> Little Red Riding Hood was happily walking in the woods when suddenly she, come, she came across a wolf that had not eaten in a long time. Little Red Riding Hood, where are you going with the beautiful red cape? Asked the wolf. I am going to see my grandma who is not feeling well, said the Little Red Riding Hood. What are you carrying in that basket? I'm taking her an apple pie and a jar of honey to make her feel better. She's talking to a stranger. Uh-oh. Does your grandma leave fall? No, she lives on the other side of the woods. I know a shortcut to her house, said the wolf. On the way, you will find very pretty flowers and you can make a beautiful birthday that will surely make her happy. That's very nice of you, Mr. Wolf, said the little red riding hood. The wolf went off so he could get to the grandma's house before little red riding hood. Bang, bang, he's knocking the door. Who was there? Asked the grandma from her bed. Look at, he's knocking the door. It's me, grandma, answered the little, the red, the wolf, intimating the voice of the red, little red riding hood. Just push the door. It's not locked, said grandma. Look at, grandma's not feeling well, remember? She's in bed reading her story. And before you could count to three, the wolf went into the house and locked the grandma in the closet. <gasps> uh oh, that is not a good thing. Then he put himself her nightgown on and the brunette slipped into the bed and covered himself with the blanket. See that? <gasps> uh -oh. A little while later, Little Red Riding Hood, holding a beautiful bouquet of flowers, knocked it on the door. Come in, my dear, my granddaughter, said the wolf, intimating grandma's voice. That was not his voice. Little Red Riding Hood approached to the bed. It seems to her that grandma looked diff very different, but she thought it might be because she is not feeling well. She looked close, she took a close look at her and said, Grandma, what big arms you have. The better to hook you with, said the wolf. Grandma, what big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear granddaughter. Let's see. Grandma, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my darling. Grandma, what big mouth you have, cried the Little Red Riding Hood, who was now very frightened. To better to eat you with, shout the wolf as he jumped out of the bed to catch Little Red Riding Hood. <gasps> See that? Ooh, is that scary? <gasps> but at that very moment, two hunters were passing by and heard Little Red Riding Hood screaming. <gasps> they rushed into the house, captured the wolf and took him far, far away into the woods. And they saved Little Red Riding Hood and Grandma. That's very nice of them, right?
Hmm. Yeah. And ever since that day, Little Red Riding Hood always remembered Mommy's her mother's advice. She never again strayed away from the path or stopped to talk to anyone on her way to visit Grandma. See, you don't talk to stranger danger. She learned her lesson, right? She's glad to be back home with Mommy. So she learned now. That's the end of the story, and I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, don't talk to stranger danger. Okay, I'll I'll see you next time.